I'm guilty of it too. You get caught up in all the doom and gloom of the mass media and then you start to second guess yourself. It's really difficult to go against the herd. But the reality is, this is where real opportunities present themselves and where the real wealth is created. And in my opinion, we have a limited amount of time before the sentiment changes and it changes in a big way. Think about it, at the moment we have limited building approvals. We have limited land supply coming to market. We have builders that are going out of business on almost a daily basis. We are in a high interest rate environment where borrowing capacities are really getting diminished and really getting compressed. But think about it, what happens when interest rates start to plateau or better yet, they even start to come back? What happens when the government starts to turn back on the money printers because they realise that they really put the brakes on too hard across the economy? What if all the immigration forecasts go according to plan? That is, in the budget, they spoke about 400,000 people moving to the country this year alone. Next year, an additional 315,000 people. That's over 700,000 people moving to Australia in the next two years alone. What do you think that's going to do to the demand for real estate? What do you think is going to happen to the values? Better yet, what do you think that's going to do to the rental returns if you own an investment property? So if it was me, here's the takeaway. Yes, times are turbulent at the moment now, but this is where the opportunities present themselves. You don't want to be sitting here in two to three years time going, I could have, I should have, but I didn't. At the very least, let's check what your finance capacity is. Shoot me a DM and I'll show you exactly how we can help you make an informed decision and how to capitalize on the market as it is today.